day And ain't nobody gotta cry today Cause ain't nobody gotta die today Yo YouTube, what's going on? It's Drew here and damn I'm feeling good. It's my birthday. Your boy's 22. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Yeah. Sorry, that was definitely some theater kid shit. Also, sorry about this lighting. I know it's not the best, but I'm chilling in the parking garage right now. And I just love the car vibe. I love sitting in here and talking to you guys while I'm chilling in my car. This is my happy place. I just feel calm in here. This is my baby. Her name's Ivy, by the way, guys. She's a silver Kia Forte. I love her so much. But yeah, so today I'm going to talk about my antidepressant experience, try to go through and negate some myths and misconceptions, and tell you what I think so far in my journey. Now, this is a video that I've been wanting to do for a very long time but I haven't been on my medication long enough to actually start feeling the effects. So now, let's see, I've been on it since August 6th, September. I'm coming up on two months since starting the medication and I'm finally starting to feel some relief from this freaking cloud of depression. And so it feels really good. And I figure now that I'm kind of getting out of it and I'm in a better mental health space, I can go ahead and talk about my experience and my thoughts on antidepressants. Now, before we start, just a little disclaimer. These are my opinions. I know that you can disagree that's perfectly okay. I do like to form my opinions based on facts and scientific evidence. Even with that, I know I'm not always 100% right, so proceed with caution. So coming up on two months ago in August 6, 2019, I started Zoloft. It's an SSRI, which is an antidepressant. And when I first started taking antidepressants, I was a little weary, but I needed, I needed some form of relief and I had tried self-medication, whether that was like smoking weed or whether that was drinking alcohol to try to fucking drown my sorrows. I had to take a step back and go, you know what? I actually need to try help. I might have a chemical imbalance. I have a family history on both sides of depression. And so that's why I started Zoloft. And there's a lot of misconceptions about antidepressants, especially SSRIs. Also, side note, an SSRI means selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, which essentially means that it allows your serotonin to stay... I don't know exactly, I guess in, in, in dumbed down version, it allows your serotonin to stay longer in your head. And so when it gets reuptaked, you either, you either have more serotonin or you're able to re reuptake it more. I don't know, basically it inhibits the reuptake. So I don't know, it's a bunch of big buzzwords, but essentially you have more free serotonin roaming around your head, which is good because that is the chemical that produces happiness and motivation and joy. And I definitely felt like there was a chemical imbalance during my fucking four month depressive episode because I would be driving down the street and literally feel like I wanted to crash my car into a fucking tree. And I know that's dark, but that's how I felt. And it's I'm okay about talking about that because we all have our demons, we all have our struggles and we're all trying to get through this life. You know, none of us get through this life unscathed, so. It was tough and I decided to find a psychiatrist and I read a lot of horror stories on Reddit about antidepressants like, oh, antidepressants make me feel like a zombie or antidepressants take away my creativity or my humor. And that really freaking scared me because I rely on that to freaking live. I love making jokes. I love being creative and making different videos. And so I was scared to start taking that medication. But there's a couple problems with that. The first is that everyone is different. So just because a majority or a minority of people are having these certain effects from an antidepressant doesn't mean that you will have the same side effects. And also there's tons of medications. And so it's all about trial and error. You know, like unfortunately we live in a time where not everything is sorted out with mental health. You know, you can't just scan your brain with some machine and find exactly what's wrong with it. You have to try and you have to fail and try again. But I I think that also teaches you a lesson, a huge lesson about life, which is that you're gonna get kicked in the ass sometimes and you need to get the fuck up and keep pushing on until you find something that works for you. And I know it is hard, it is hard as hell to make that first step, but I promise you support is all around and if you make that first step, your life will be changed for the better. And so yeah, there's still a lot of those negative connotations around antidepressants. A lot of people think that it can kill your personality or I see a lot of things like with Mark Twain Twain and a lot of these artists like Van Gogh. I was reading an article the other day about if Van Gogh was on Prozac, which is another SSRI, I believe. And it's like, we kind of glorify the tortured artist. You know, Kanye West struggles with mental health and he put a tweet out about stopping medication, which I think was harmful because a lot of people, if they stop taking their medication, they can literally do very bad things to others or themselves. So I don't think that was a good message. But we glorify a lot of these artists that kind of have this dark side. The idea of the tortured genius is something that I don't really buy into, and here's why. I think that there's a misconception with creatives that 
in order to have the light side of them and have the positive side of their personality that the darkness is almost like it's a part of them and they feel like if they lose that darkness then they'll be less creative it'll be like a piece of them gone but here's the thing that i've experienced with antidepressants antidepressants don't make you happy all the time they just allow you to get out of the cloud to where you can where you can actually operate in the real world without feeling like you're dead inside 24 7. it doesn't make you happy you still have to make those steps in order to make your life purposeful and fulfilling and happy but it basically distances you from that depression and allows you to use your coping skills to operate in between. Now, it would be one thing if antidepressants killed your sadness, if you were never sad because of antidepressants, but that's also another misconception. I still feel sad. I cry, I laugh, I have joy. I still feel all, you know, the spectrum of emotions. And that's something that I wasn't able to feel before antidepressants. And so for me, my medication so far that I'm coming up on two months has finally, within this last, you know, two to three weeks, has allowed me to start feeling again, which is something that I haven't had in a long time. And rather than killing my personality, it's actually allowed me to be more in touch with my personality, more fine-tuned with my emotions. and. I'm super grateful. You know, I had a comment on my depression video talking about like, ooh, don't take antidepressants. It'll make the journey harder. Just go to church. And here's my problem with that. Now, I have no problem with anyone expressing their faith. You know, if that's something that works for you, bingo, go ahead. But there's some things in life that faith just can't fully encompass. And this is one of them. If your brain isn't producing a certain chemical that it needs to, especially serotonin, which is so influential. You know, when I was feeling depressed, I couldn't find joy in anything. I love working out. I love making videos. I couldn't find joy in any of that. And that was so strange because I've been through some shit in my life. You know, I know I have a lot of privilege, but I've experienced a fair share of adversity. And I think that's helped me become stronger and even more appreciative for all life has to offer. But when I was going through this depressive cloud, which lasted so goddamn long, I could not find joy in anything. I stopped laughing as much. I stopped expressing myself as much. And it was really, really difficult. And I actually don't know why I mentioned that. I was going somewhere with that, but I'm so goddamn ADD, I bounce everywhere. So I don't know what the point was with that. All right, so after changing my battery, I got that thought back. Back to the whole faith in demonizing antidepressants or demonizing any mental health drug, whether it's for anxiety, depression. But when your brain's malfunctioning, faith can only go so far. And I know if I get a lot of flack for that, I'm sorry. But it's just science, dog. Like, you need to fix those problems. And, like, I know it's good and faith can be good for a lot of people to have that to lean on and have something for a higher purpose. But also, if you have a very traumatic childhood where you weren't loved or, or you weren't given the nourishment you needed or you were neglected on top of a genetic uh, DNA trait that has been passed down to you that in regards to a mental health condition, you need to seek help and it's really not that scary. Before I first went to the psychiatrist, I had tried a counselor maybe once or twice within the year, but before that, there was a lot of ups and downs, and if you don't make that jump, you're gonna go in a lot of circles, and I don't wanna say that to overwhelm or scare you, but I just wanna say that to encourage you. You can get out of that endless loop of ups and downs and self-medication, which I'll make a video about as well. I mean, there was times where, you know, believe it or not, I was freaking smoking weed every day just to get myself out of my head, and it was really taking a toll on my mental. I was even more down because I'd feel good and I'd feel up. I'd have that dopamine rush for the day and then I'd wake up the next morning feeling absolutely just bottom of the barrel worse. So be cognizant when you're using substances that you're not becoming um, abusive towards them because that can be a problem in and of itself as well. You gotta think of why you're using substances as well. I'm not here to lecture you, but I just wanna make it known that that can become a problem too and that can point to a bigger picture. But all in all, for me, antidepressants are working and I'm so glad. I don't know how long this is gonna last, but it's just started to, to kick in and I'm just so fortunate that we live in a time, freaking 2019 goes hard. I know there's still a lot of progress to be made in the mental health world, especially for psychiatry and studying our freaking crazy brains. But the fact that we live in a time where we can take a medication that's a little freaking, whatever, a little tiny capsule that has the chemical makeup to be able to give your brain the chemical it needs to start feeling joy again. I mean, 
damn like wow i am so grateful but yeah guys uh thanks for letting me rant i'm just here to report to you that i'm feeling better i'm feeling more myself more crazy content is going to come i have a big announcement that's coming soon i bet none of y'all will be able to guess it but i'm going to make a huge life change coming up in three months uh, stay tuned and also if you need help reach out to me I can help point you in the right direction whether it's finding a counselor or a psychiatrist through your insurance provider I can help guide you because it's the best decision I've made and I was a real skeptic that this wouldn't work and it's starting to and if I get to a point where it stops working well I can wean off and I can try another medication I mean it's all about jumping through hoops in this life and finding what works for you so yeah if you're watching this far look I love you so much I love how having YouTube as an outlet. I have so much plans to document my life on this thing. I, I feel so much solitude. When I just start speaking, even though it's to a camera, I know that you guys are watching, but I just, you know, I figure out things about myself that I didn't even know through talking. And when I'm going back and editing, I, I notice things I say that kind of turn the mirror back on me and make me think a little more. So comment down below if you have any thoughts about this video. If you have thoughts about medication, I'm here to help you get through those myths that there are. There's a lot of them. Start a conversation, anything. I love talking to you guys. I love getting comments because I love starting a discussion and learning and forming relationships with you. So thank you so much for watching my video. More on the way. I think I'm going to keep these car talks up. I think I'm going to do like a little Drew on series, you know, like Drew on antidepressants or Drew on death, Drew on drugs drew on life drew on education drew on fucking career, everything i love talking so stay tuned for that uh leave a comment if you want to see a video anything next just let's just talk let's talk and i will see you guys on the next video peace